What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joe Easy. Welcome to another edition of Joe Easy Delivers. My long time welcome back, my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Saturday, October 7th, and I am disappointed, my lovely humans. I am disappointed at DoorDash. I thought that they were done playing mind tricks with everybody. I thought this new tier system was gonna be for real, that they're going to prioritize our orders and, or at least, you know what? At least if I get to 70%, at least continue to give me the same, um, the same type of orders, which are the trash no tip orders. But DoorDash decided to do it again, where they start a new program they feed you good orders when you're supposed to, I guess, when you're supposed to for a week. And then after that, they start feeding you the trash again. And it's like, it, it, it's so obvious that it happens. It happens with, it happened with Earn By Time first started. They're giving me very amazing Earn By Time orders for a whole week. They're all, it was almost too good to be true. I even told Nova Hustles like, bro, I don't know. I don't think this is gonna last. So let, let's, let, me, let me just squeeze all I can with it. And I squeezed all I could with the whole earn by time when it first came out, all the tipped orders, it was amazing. And then a bunch of no tips after that. Same thing happened with this tier system. I hit the 70% or whatever. I started getting some good orders, earn by time order, ta da 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 da. And then I was earn by order, good earn by order orders, earn by order orders, da da da. A week later, got two, two days straight of a bunch of no tip, earn by time orders same exact thing i'm like bro so you know what we are going to squeeze the acceptance rate we're going to put it to the test we're going to see what happens with a 82 percent acceptance rating on doordash i'm going to turn it on right now in the morning time in the morning time and i'm going to turn it on at night this is what we're going to do though it's going to be a regular day guys a regular shift no challenge i'm going to take a break from two to five go to the gym finish editing my videos have some lunch i'm gonna see what happens if i could do that from two to five go to the gym instead of going to the gym before i'm gonna go to the gym between two and five and it's i, I got a comment a long time ago from that from a guy saying that he had that schedule and he does pretty good so i'm gonna try it out instead of waking up going to the gym early you know start working early two to five gym and then finish editing videos have some lunch and then start and then from five to ten work and we'll see what happens now with that being said don't forget to smash that like button, and blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video at the end, and you know what's going to be doing every single time, remember my people, let's get the grind started, let's go. And the time is 8.50 in the morning, and first we decline our first DoorDash order. What a shock. Three dollars for 4.4 miles, and then we accepted a, a 7-Eleven Uber Eats order, seven dollars for four miles, and then I saw this Instacart, and I'm not even that close to the rest, to the place. It's a $31 Milam's Market order for 15 miles. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm like two miles away. So let's say 17 miles, $31, 15 miles delivery only for three customers. I'm gonna do it, guys. That's 31 smackaroos right there, baby. Let's go. All right, my peeps, you'd be happy to know that we parked super close. So remember, it's Milam's Market, three customers, 13 bags in total. So I gotta get two of these cards, probably even three. So let's go. All right, my people, we got three bags here. Or not three bags, but we got three. Yeah, we got a bunch of bags. So we're gonna put the first bag here. This is the other customers, a bunch of bags. So hoping that everything here fits. I think it does. I hope it does. I gotta play Tetris now with this thing, but it's okay. Look at this, boom. Yeah, it fits. Here's three. The So one customer is over here, those three, and then this is one other one. All right, the last customer is inside. All right, I gotta hope that this all fits here. I gotta move my water. I, got, I need to fill one more. One more. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to. No, I think this fits. Boom. It fits perfect. Oh, hold on. Gotta make sure. I don't know if those are eggs or what. Ah, oh, that's not eggs at all. Oh, we're good. Okay. Boom. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now let's deliver. Let's do it. 
All right, the time is 7 o'clock in the morning and we completed. I forgot to record every drop off, but I was on live anyway. So uh, thank you guys for joining the live. If you joined, we completed that $31 order. Let us continue. Let's go. Okay, the time is 10, 11 in the morning and we accepted a $5 uh, DoorDash. I, I took it because I don't, I don't want to be declining too many orders. I don't want to, I mean, I, a part of me doesn't want to give up hope with the with the platinum status whole thingy majiggy so let's just get it five dollars 2.7 miles let's see if it's even ready though all right the order was actually ready guys we got to put the three numbers for some reason all right let's deliver let's go all right the time is what time is it 11 22 in the morning and we accepted a 25 dollar order for 20 items instacart fresh market and Publix. so yeah, that's it. $25 for 20 items is two different stores, but it, it you know it's one more than one dollar per item, so we're good. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, we need six eggs. I don't even know this. What is that? Right, six eggs. So we need six of these bad boys. Gotta make sure that they're all good. Oh man. Damn. All right, my people, it's been eight minutes and we're done. Uh, I didn't show you guys because I was trying to be stealth mode to try to clean it up, but uh, one of the eggs fell, guys. One of the eggs fell, a travesty happened, but we are done. Let's go pay for this and go to Publix. All right, we made it to Publix and this parking lot is packed, guys. So seems like it's a, it's a packed house inside that Publix, but let's get it. All right, this is the one. Okay, so this is our first item right here. It looked different on the picture, but it's okay. All right, we need this one right here. This uh, crushed tomato, basil, tomato, thingy majiggy. Four. Let's make sure that this is it, though. The four, this uh, creamy chicken. Yeah, four of these. We got to get this. It's buy two, get one free, but, but the customer only wants one. Let's give him another one because that one's probably going to... It fell, so it's probably going to start like if they open it. It's gonna blow up. So let's get this one. All right, we need right here. Oh, perfect. Half and half tea, Lipton. Let's get this soft scrub with bleach. There's a hot sauce that I can't find. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. It says it's in the processed meat, but there, uh, this is the processed meat right here on the right. And it's not there. But it's like a, it's like a sauce, guys, look. This thing right here is like a steak sauce. And I checked the steak sauce section, all the sauces. And it's not here so i don't know oh they want a refund if i can't find it so i will continue to look for it while i'm here getting other stuff uh, but if anything i'll just refund it i guess let's get some Publix almond almond milk chocolate chocolate choc chocolate chocolates chocolates you guys have you guys guys on the spongebob we gotta get three of oh raisins where does raisins come from oh right here Three of these bad boys. All right, so I need this cookie dough thingy majiki over here. I believe this is a 36 ounce. Yeah. And then we need some blue cheese. This is mushrooms. No. Right here, guys. We got it. I think feta cheese, blue cheese. So blue cheese right here. Right here. 16 pound American crafts, craft macaroni and cheese. Or I don't know why I said that. Oh, we need bread. The bread is here as well. I didn't. I didn't see that we needed bread until now, so good thing I saw this. And also one of these bad boys is yogurt, green wise. Perfect. We need something. We need honey buns. Right here. Should be here somewhere. Right here, baby. Let's go. Oh, but hold on. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, so one of these. We need some milk, which is over there. Oh, this is the last one, too. This is one pint, not one quart. They don't want it then they want the half gallon so let's give them the half gallon all right my people it's been 18 minutes and we are done we got everything except for the steak sauce i looked everywhere and they don't have it guys so let's just pay for this and deliver let's start our delivery journey let's do it i think after this will be at 60 bucks that's not a bad day not a bad day 
so this is uh our setup right here we have the first order that we're gonna deliver right now and then this is the other order and the little doordash catering bag i don't know if i'm gonna get catering orders in the future because i'm gonna tank my ar or not, i'm not gonna in intentionally tank it i'm gonna accept orders and see what happens let's go i got delivery Ready? guys the time is 105 p.m and we accepted and i told you guys i think i'm or i'm gonna tell you guys on my video the last video that i accepted this is my second catering bag required order first of all we declined a 4.5 or first of all we had to cancel a 12 dollar uber eats order for two customers five miles because the first the first restaurant said oh we're, we're taking too long and we're backed up or it's gonna take an extra 15 minutes at least so i have to cancel that i guess and then we canceled uh, we declined the four dollar and fifty cent high paying door dash order 1.4 miles and then we accepted and completed a seven dollar and fifty cent high paying offer 3.1 miles door dash three uh two dollar base pay five dollars and fifty cent tip and then we declined the another DoorDash order four dollars and fifty cents for 4.4 miles and we have this order right here nine dollars and fifty cent plus the first time i ever see a plus on these orders catering bag required the last order was a catering bag required i have to take a picture of this but it's a burger king order 17 items so i'm gonna show i couldn't show you guys the items on the last on the last video but i'll show you guys the items in this one it's a catering bag required but it's not like catering orders it's just like a big order they just they decide to put catering bag required i guess i don't know because i guess it has more items than usual so i'm gonna take a picture real quick of this catering bag so they know that i have a catering bag and then that's it let's go to burger king catering bag photo submitted we'll verify your catering bag all right so we got it right here burger king 17 items is it gonna be a bunch of drinks probably probably Oh my goodness. Okay, so the order is still being prepared. So it's not ready yet, but I will show you guys once I pick up the order. I'm going to show you guys the size of it. All right, so it's been 50 minutes past the pickup time. So this, this is going to take me a little, uh, well over an hour, this order. So this order was not worth it. Um, man, well, we got it though. And I'm supposed to go to the gym right after this. So. Yeah, let's go deliver. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On Instacart, we made $56.86, and on DoorDash, we made how much? 27, it was $5, and then $22.45 for a total of $84.31. Guys, after I went to the gym and I was editing videos, I met up with some family and then after that I finished editing videos and then after that I didn't want to work anymore so I said you know what so that was a bad decision I am not gonna work out in the middle of the day anymore because normally when I stop doing something look when I start working I'm in a row I'm working I'm working and I don't want to go home I don't want to go home I just keep working but if I stop in the middle of the day to do something Going back to work, for some reason, I lose my mojo and I just don't want to work anymore. I go home. So I went home, guys. Whatever. I apologize. I didn't make $100, but right now I am at Costco in not in Miami, Florida. So I'm just going to give you guys that. I'm waiting for at least a $40 order and higher. And this Costco has been, I've been seeing some orders, guys, and I show you guys on the next video. So stay tuned, baby. Like You like that little teaser? So stay tuned for the next video. I'm, I'm camping out here until I get at least a $40 order or higher. I did see one, but it was way too many items. So I don't know, but I'm gonna show you guys the items on the next video and you guys will be the judge of whether I should have taken that order or not. There was a lot of good orders that I would take, but I, since, I'm, since I drove so far, I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me wait for a 40 and higher. I'm gonna wait here all day. If I have to be watching the Dolphins game, while I'm swiping, you know, swiping, waiting for orders, I will do it, guys. Speaking of the Dolphins, the 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 UM football team lost. What a shock. If you made it to the end of this journey, though, my lovely humans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to blow over the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe all my people. 
my people have a good day have a good year have a good career stay hustling out there love yourself believe in yourself it's your boy joey let's go